My name is Karim Son, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very, very easy way of solving the climbing the leaderboard challenge. So it says that an arcade game player wants to climb to the top of the leaderboard and track their ranking. The game uses dense ranking, so each leaderboard works like this. The player with the highest score is ranked number one on the leaderboard. The player with the the player who have equal scores receive the same ranking number and the next player receive the immediately following ranking number. So in this case, we have ranked 100, 90, 90, 80. So these are the available ranks that has already been ranked. And we have a player having the score, players having score 70, 80, 105. Now for 70, we want to find the rank here. 70 is less than 100, is less than 90, and is less than 80. So 100 is rank 1, 90 is rank 2, and 80 is rank 3. So it means that 70 will now be rank 4. 80 is rank 3, so it means that we have 4, 3, and 105 is the highest, so it gets rank 1. Now I want to use my whiteboard to explain how it works, and then we quickly write the code. So let's say we want to perform ranking in this case. So the first thing we want to do in this case, we want to make sure that this list is sorted in ascending order. Now we have this, we have this list given to us in descending order. You can see 150, 40, 21. That means that we have 150, 40, 20, 10. So there are two ways we can do this. One, we can have this list this way. In this case, we will have we have the ranks increasing as the list is increasing, right? So we have here we have rank one, and the next one is rank two, and it decreases this way. However, it's better to have the list sorted. So I'm going to kind of sort this list, assign the order the way it should be, and then we continue. So the first thing you want to do is to sort this list. So let's see, let me just go back here and we are trying to solve this problem. So it's going from 100, 50, 40, 20, 10, and we are going to solve in ascending order. So it's, it should be 10, 20, 40, 50, 100. So we have 10. All right, so the algorithm is quite simple. So we are, what we are going to do first, we are going to first remove duplicate from this list. Now, if you look at the hacker rank example here, there are duplicates, and that's the first thing you need to do. We have to remove duplicates because the duplicates here have the same rank. So we have to remove duplicates. So the first thing I'm going to say here in the algorithm, it says one, remove, remove duplicates. The next thing we want to do, now this list is fine. So, but we are not, we don't, we are not guaranteed that this, we don't have the guarantee that this list is sorted. So we are going to sort this list. Now we are talking about this, not this one. Step three, we are now going to initialize n to be the length of this list because we are going to iterate through this list. n is equal to the length of the rank. And we also initialize a counter that we are going to use to iterate this list as well. So we are going to have i that goes from zero to the length of this list. Okay, so I'm going to move to step four. So in step four now, we also have to initialize a result variable to hold the result. Now I'm going to loop, I'm going to say for each, for each item here, we're going to check what rank it belongs here. So for each score, uh, let me just call it score, for each score in player. Now you need to pay attention in this, what happens here. We are going to check where it belongs. So we are going to first check to make sure that we, are, we have a counter set to zero. So we have ranked I, so we have ranked, so I'm going to say while, while we still have some items, so we, while, while I is less than N, because for now I is zero, N is the length, of this loop. So while i is less than n, i is zero in this case, and 
we want to also check if this value is less than this value or greater than this value so what we are going to do is to compare this value with this value here so if this value here is less than this one then we are going to if this value here is is less than the value here then we are going to move one step right so if this value here is less than this value here we are going to move one step this way but if you check this case the value here is not less than the value here however if this value here if this value here is less than this value so i'm going to just write it ranks i if it's less than or equal to this value here if it's less than or equal to it means that we are going to move one step but in this case it's not so i'm going to say i plus plus but if it is not if it is not what we are going to do is simply uh enter the rank into the result so the result is now going to be remember we have the result to be uh it's going to be in this case we have a result to be to the rank will now be um one two three four five right so the rank is going to be five plus one right so it's going to be n minus i plus one so in this case we have five minus zero plus one so that's going to give us six in case of five so we have rank six here all right so if we move on to the next one that is 25 we are going to check if i is less than uh, n yes i is one at this time and we're also going to check if 20 is less than or equal to 25 you can see that 20 is less than or equal to 25 and we are going to uh move forward by advancing one step so once it get to 40 it's going to break out from this loop and in this case i is 2 so it's going to say the rank is going to be n minus 2 plus 1 so it's going to be 5 minus 2 plus 1 so it's going to be uh 4 so we have 1 2 3 4 so it means 25 will be here right and the rank is going to be 4 so that's how you are going to do this do this until you until the loop completes so if this does not advance we are going to push a result results and we simply say n minus i plus one so this is how the algorithm works so let's quickly write the program and let's run it and let's see if everything works fine so i'm going down here and i'm going to write the code exactly the way we explained it in the algorithm so i'm going to say so the first thing we say here we are going to remove duplicates for you to remove duplicate from a list you simply say list and uh, put that list in a set and convert it back to a list so we have rank is equal to list set of the runs and convert it back to list and at this point i'm going to sort it so rank dot sort because we don't know if we sort it so let's just sort it and i'm going to initialize my variable i is equal to zero and the next variable to be n is equal to length rank because we are going to move from i to the length of the ranked um, array so we're also going to initialize a results uh, array to hold the results of the rank that we are going to generate so now comes our for loop so i'm going to say for score in rank for score in rank yeah so i'm going to say while i is less than n so there are still values uh, to to in the array to check and the runs the, the the current item is less than or equal to the score it's less than or equal to the score then we are going to move one step i is equal to i plus one or i plus is equal to one either way is fine 
else we are going to simply push the rank onto our results. So I'm going to say results dot append and then push the rank is which is n minus i plus one. So in this case, at the end of this loop, we have all our results and we are simply going to break on results at this point. So this is exactly the way this algorithm works here. So let's run this code and let's see if it's going to pass all the test cases. I'm going to click on run and let's see. So it gives us a wrong uh, result. So let me troubleshoot and let's see where the problem is coming from. Okay, so actually uh, we are going to be iterating the, the, the player array here. So it's not the ranked array here, but the, uh, the player array here. Okay, so yeah, so this is what it should be. So I'm going to run it again and hopefully it's going to work this time. So it passes the two test cases and I'm going to submit this code. Let's see if it passes all the test cases. It passes all the test cases successfully. So this is how exactly to solve the climbing the leaderboard problem. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and also leave me a comment. To let me know if this have, it, have been informative for you. I remain Thanks on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.